I'm Daniel. In this video, we will be taking a closer look at the Ultimark Servo Sticks. They are amazing and I got a lot of people that asked me questions if I could make a tutorial video about them. What they can do, uh, how to install them and how the software works and how to set stuff up. So without further ado, let's dive into it. So let's start with what a servo stick actually does. So I have several servo sticks in my build here. And here you can see one, I've made it this small model uh, for you to see. So this would be your control panel, obviously, with the ball top and the back side. Bum, 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 bum. You can see the servo stick, oh, the servo stick mechanic. So this is the actual joystick um, with the restrictor plate, special restrictor plate. This is the servo motor and it's connected uh, with the two wires to this PCB, which is the servo control unit. And be careful that you need to order this separately. So if, if you don't have this, your servo sticks won't work. So you connect it with a micro USB cable to your uh, PC, to your gaming PC. And then when you press a button, you can also automate it. It goes from um, eight way to four way. So this is eight way. And this is four way. So if you're new to arcade gaming, I will explain to you quickly what four and eight way actually means. Um, so this is the joystick and it can go in all direction. It can move freely, which is great for most games, but older games, they cannot cope with multiple button inputs. And I will explain that to you. If you press up and right, so diagonal at the same time, uh, the joystick actually triggers two uh, inputs, so two switches. And games like Donkey Kong or Pac-Man, they cannot cope with multiple uh, inputs. Your character will just not move in time and uh, then you will lose a life. So you don't want that. So older arcade games are played in four-way mode. And four-way mode means simply that the joystick can only go up, down, left, right. There's also a two-way mode, um, but we will talk about that in another video. But for now, we want eight-way for modern games, fighting games, and four-way for the older arcade classics, Donkey Kong, Pac-Man, Zookeeper, uh, Burger Time, any game like that. So how this works is really ingenious. This white thing, this is the restrictor plate, and it has this special shape. And actually in this shape, it's in eight-way mode. So the joystick can move in all directions. So it can go down, up, diagonally. It, it will trigger all the switches. If we put it in four-way mode, then the servo motor moves the restrictor plate. And now, as you can see, I can only do up, down, left, and right. I cannot go in any other direction. This is blocked by the restrictor plate. So this is a great way to switch very easily uh, to eight-way or uh, four-way mode. Okay, let me show you how to install your servo stick. So you will have the, um, uh, the joystick, of course, and you will get this servo stick module. Um, the PCB you can mount uh, anywhere you want. So you start by unwinding the wires like this. And now you can see that it's, the servo motor is already attached to this piece of plastic. And this will fit exactly on the joystick as you can see so it's very it's beautifully engineered so it will fit directly so what you do is uh, you mount the two bottom screws of your joystick first then you place the servo stick on top and then this is the tricky part you will just move it out there is some space for it to do this and you will just snap it in place like this like this okay Let's remove the wires for a second. The only thing you need to be really careful of that if you push this all the way down so that the plastic touches the joystick, the arm is a little bit too long to make the correct swing. So your servo stick will jam. So what you do is give it a little, maybe a millimeter or so space. And then let's get the screws in. like this and 
not too tight. And this one. Then we pull the servo stick up as far as we can go, like this. And now we can lock it into place, like this. Now let's route the wires a little bit. Let's plug in the micro USB cable and run the test software. And it runs great. So now that we've installed the servo sticks in our arcade machine, it's time to uh, do some testing. We want to know if it works. So for that, we go to the Ultimark website. We go to servo stick and scroll all the way down to test application. And it's a great small tool that, um, that you can use to, uh, well, to test um, the servo stick motors. So you can download it here. I already downloaded it before. It's on my desktop. Here it is. So if you open the program, you can see a small window pop up. And there are two buttons, four way and eight way. Don't forget to plug in your mini USB cable in your PCB now. And if you press uh, uh, four way or eight way, it will tell you that four servo sticks are found. And I can show you our small miniature here that the test software works amazing. And here is a button change to hardware mode. And this is a big disclaimer never touch this button. You will reprogram the ROM chip, chip that's on the PCB uh, to be uh, operated in hardware mode, which means that it cannot communicate with the computer anymore. Uh, when do you need this? Maybe for very old arcade machines or if you're going to, uh, well, uh, want a physical button on your uh, control panel. And if you press it, then the servo sticks will move to four or eight way. Um, but still, in this last case, you can solve by um, uh, pressing F4 or, a, or F8 on your keyboard. You can use a um, small script that I wrote for the Stream Deck, or you can uh, um, uh, connect, how do you say, um, uh, map the F4 or F8 buttons in your iPad controller, and then you can also use buttons. So, long story short, uh, only use four-way and eight-way buttons, and they work perfectly. So the next application we want to download is the Joy Tray program. And you can find it just underneath the test application. And Joy, Joy Tray is the program that uh, I generally use. So you can download it. Uh, let me check here. Just uh, click on this, and I already downloaded it downloaded it and it's on my desktop and if you open the program nothing happens and it will run in your tray let me find it and you can do right click and then you see the attached servo sticks and you can see here that they are in four way and you can easily switch them to eight way like this right click servo sticks Four way so you can toggle like this and what you can also do if you have a keyboard attached that um, if you press f4 or f8 so it's already in four mode f8 for eight way then it works also so this program is really easy for that so as a small bonus i will show you how to make a, a batch file which you can use with your stream deck or Launch together with um, with with your uh, with your game or with Hyperspin. So I downloaded the Joy Tray program on my C drive, and let's right click on the desktop. We do new, 
we do text documents. Well, let's co uh, call it uh, Joy Four Way. And then we uh, can also make an eight way, but I will do the four way uh, now. Let's open it and just write C uh, forward slash joy tray forward slash joy tray um, dot exe minus servo uh, and then joy four way. Then we do file. Uh, save as, save as type all files, and file name is joy4way.bat. Let's save it, close it, and now we have this batch file. And if we open it, you can hear the servo stick move. So, and of course, you don't want to do this manually every time. You want uh, the system to do it automatically. And for that, you can go to the Let Blinky configuration uh, editor or configure Let Blinky program. And then the last tab, which is called miscellaneous options, has the joystick digital restriction um, uh, feature here. And you just um, uh, mark this one, which is servo stick four or eight way. So you just press save, I already did it of course, and then uh, the system will do it automatically for you. So let's uh, go to hyperspin. Let's go to main, favorite games, view favorite games, and then we go to maybe Donkey Kong. I'll turn the volume soft. And if we start Donkey Kong. You already hear the two servo sticks go to four way. And the LED Blinky program is loading. Insert point. And it's uh, talking about all the lights. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope uh, you liked this tutorial and that it was beneficial for you. If you have questions, any kind of questions, you can go to the Ultimark website, drop them an email, or you can order the servo sticks there. Uh, see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.